Hey, what's going on? My name is Mark B. Kamatbat and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, ay pag-uusapan natin yung tinatawag nilang encoding of depth and prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4 of the school year 2019 and 2020. Okay? So, once you download the file or XLSM file, ito yung magiging itsura niya if you don't have an application for uh, the zip file, okay? Ito yung default na icon ng ating Windows. All you have to do is to right-click on the folder and then just click on Extract All. And then locate kung saan natin mas madali mahanap. On my case, since it is located on download and walang laman yung aking download folder, I will just leave it as it is. Pero sa inyo, kung pa mas gamay nyo ang uh, desktop, you can uh, click on Browse and then uh, locate it on your desktop. Just click on Next. Then once we open or once we're done extracting our uh, zip file, ito yung lalabas. Or once you close it, nasa tabi lang niya kasi nasa download. Then all you have to do is to uh, double click on the, on the file. At hihintayin lang natin na mag-open ang ating file. Ayan. So, once na once na nag-open na siya, ang gagawin natin is, of course, uh, we can click on Enable Content. Okay? For some application or version of uh, Microsoft Office, no? Um... Uh, Inaalaw pa tayo or nire-request pa tayo na enable ang kanilang mga macros. Okay? So, just click on enable content para at least may input natin yung ating mga data or may input natin yung ating mga data. Okay? So, first na gagawin natin is of course to encode or input our employees uh, or name of the employees. So, for example, eto, name lang natin. Ayan, name of the employee. Once we hover or point our mouse at the name of the employee, makikita po natin yung name of format. We're in, uh, they are requiring us to type in all capital letter or all caps. By following last name, first name, and then we have the middle initial. So now on our case, I'm just going to type kabatbat, followed by comma, mark, and then we have B. Then position, of course, you can hit the drop down button beside the table position then just click position and we have the teacher 3 then right after on the next tab we can hit the employee id number which is of course kayo ang nakakalam kung ano yung employee id number po natin okay so on our case or on my case i'm just going to write 418 or 424210 for example uh, 583 example lang Okay, then employment status. Okay, so employment status po natin. Just hit on the drop down button. Then next, we have our age. Click lang natin drop down. Then we have 31 to 35, for example. Then we have sex. Ito po. And then we have level thought. Sa level thought, no, hindi po gumagana. There are cases na hindi gumagana yung ating drop down menu. So all you have to do is to type. If you are an elementary teacher or if you are encoding an elementary teacher, all you have to do is to type elementary here para lumabas po yung grade level thought sa baba. Ayan, so we have kindergarten to spell. But if you are junior high school, you can type junior followed by high school and then press enter once again and then do the grade level thought automatic. Ayan, we have sped and then we have grade 10. But if you are a senior high school just like me, all you have to do is to type senior followed by high and then school. And then just enter, then grade level thought. Makikita natin we have grade 11, grade 12, then we have the multi grade. Okay? So in my case, I am teaching grade 12 students for grade 12. And then on the strand, makikita naman natin dito, especially kapag senior high school ka, pipili ka dyan. We have agri-fishery, HD, etc., etc. I am teaching TVL ICT. Then we have our rater, for example. Ang rater po natin ay ang ating department heads or ang ating master teacher or ang ating principal. Okay? So, on this case, I am going to tie the master teacher. For example, we have uh, kakapit. 
followed by Muhammad Emmanuel L. Following the format. And then we have the position. Position niya. We have a master teacher. So hanapin lang natin dito. Nating master teacher 1. Then we have the date of review. Okay? So lalagay natin dito. For example, we have 2020. Um, then followed by dash 0228. Okay? So by following the format, once again, YYY means the year, and then we have events for month, and then DDs for the day. Okay? Then we have number of years in teaching. Click lang natin yan. We have the fourth, 10 years, and then highest degree obtained. Say, for instance, we have the bachelor's degree. Sa baba po ng bachelor's degree, we are going to indicate kung anong degree yung tinapos ko natin. Say, for example, we have bachelor of science in secondary education. Or if you are a master's degree, indicate din po natin kung anong degree po yun. In my case, we have master's in information technology. Then we have area of specialization, si sign teaching. TVLICT, lalagay ko dito, we have TLEHE and then TVL. You can select kung ano po yung uh, in-include po natin. Okay? So, we have TLE and HE. Region. Okay? So, region na then, we have to click on the drop-down once again. We have Ilocos region for region 1. And then, division of course is Pangasinan 1. Municipality, you can just type in we have, say for example, we have Santa Barbara. And then we have the school ID is 3193. And then we have school name is uh, Daniel Maramba National High School. Then school type, we have, um, on a school type, we can just type urban. Then school size, we have uh, small, medium, large, very large, depending on the population of the adding school. In our case, uh, sabi ng aming ICT coordinator, my co-ICT coordinator, or ating ICT coordinator is very large. And then, curriculum or class, curricular classification. I'll be selecting grade 7 to grade 10, and then grade 11 to grade 12. Okay? And then next, once na natapos na po natin yung nandadaan, we can now proceed to cut number 1. Okay? So, cut number 1, pipiliin lang po natin yung subject na inobserve or uh, during cut 1. Okay? So, you can select Filipino, English, Mathematics, depende po sa kinot or depende po sa inobserve. Okay? So, in my case, since I'm teaching uh, TVLICT, ang pipilit ko po ay TLE, EVP, and then we have the tech book. On the rating, again, this is just an example showing you how to encode uh, our uh, prescribe IPCRL parts 1 to 4. So, for the sake of the demonstration, I'll be just typing yung mga rate, possible rate na nandadaan. For example, 6, 6, then we have 7, for example, 6, then 7, then we have 6, example lang po. Okay? Then, once na natapos natin po yan, we are going to write, okay, important din po, yung date observed. Okay, for the cut one. Okay, for example, again, we have the following the format 2019 dash, uh, sabi na natin July, that is 07 followed by uh, 17. Okay, for example, again, natin July 17. And after typing the date observed, we can just hit on the lock cut one. Once na klinik natin yung lock cut one, makikita po natin dito, mag enable na po yan automatically. Okay? So, lock cut one, it will allow us to input our password. Okay? So, we have our password and our password to confirm it. And then, just click on go. Okay? Makikita natin dito, nag-uti na po sa ito sabihin, that is automatic na nag enable But before we proceed with cut two, let us click on the top 2 para makita natin na nag-automatic na rin or nag-automate na rin yung mga yan. Once na natapos natin or once na finalize na po natin ang encoding sa encoding tab. Okay? Makikita natin dito, this is blank pero mamaya magiging uh, or may laman na yan once we finish our first 
staff. Okay, on cut 2, kung anong subject ulit ang in-observe. In my case, it's I'm teaching uh, grade 12. Yan po. And then, say for example, we have 7. 7. Again, this is just for uh, a demonstration. No? Just to show you kung paano po nag i -impose. Then, we have 6. For example. And then, date observe again. Once again, we have 2019. Then, pagpalagay, that is uh, 09. And then, we have 11. Pagpalagay natin. Then, just click on lock. Enter the password. Kung ano yung password na nilagay mo, doon sa una or cut one, dapat yun din ang magiging password mo sa cut two. Then, same as with cut three. No? Pipili yung ulit natin. And then, we have to click on the subject na uh, in-observe sa'yo. So, for example, ito po yung rate two natin. Then, on the date observe, on the cut three, lagay natin, for example, 2019 ng November example that is 7 then just click on lock okay then password ayun then just click on go question sir paano kapag kulang po ako ng code example sa code number 4 okay gagawin lang po natin dyan is huwag na natin papakitaman okay kung halimbang wala po kayong code number 4 then we will now proceed to the IPCRF numerical ratings eto po yung grade nyo doon sa inyong mga portfolio Okay? So, ipagpalagay na meron na po kayong rating or meron na po kayong grades. So, all you have to do is to type data sa ating mga uh, blank data. For example, lalagay po natin dyan, we have 5, then 4, then for example, we have uh, 3, example lang po, then 4, 5, 5, 5, and then we have 5, and then we have 4, and then we have 5 here, and then we have 5, 5, 5, 4, and then 4, 5, for example, and then we have 5, and Okay? So, yun po. Once na natapos na po natin yan, all you have to do is to proceed with the approving authority, which is your principal by following the format once again. So, we have to type the last name first, followed by comma, then the name of the approving authority, then followed by uh, his or her position. Say, for example, we have principal 4. And then, once we input the approving authority, all you have to do is to click on finalize part 1. Once we're done with the part 1, all you have to do is to click on yes and by typing once again the password. Okay? And then, just click on go. Okay? Magre-red na po yan. Okay? Once na nag-red na yan, ibig sabihin, uh, na-finalize na po natin, meaning, okay na po ang ating uh, first part. Okay, so yun, your data has been saved. Let's click on OK. Makikita natin sa part 1 proficiency ng tab natin, meron na pong data. Okay? Di gaya kanina na wala pang laman. So, automatic na pong nag-fill in yung mga yan po. Okay? Including the rate, rater, and then the approving authority. Okay? So, let us proceed doon sa ating encoding which is the part 2, which is the core behavioral competencies. Ito po yung ginawa natin during or before we start our class. Okay? So, i-click lang po natin yan. So, dapat may copy po kayo. For example, ito. Again, itong part 2 ng core behavioral competencies natin, mag-automatic na rin yan doon sa ating tab na part 2. Nakikita nyo dito, we have 000, pero once we finish the encoding ng core behavioral competencies, ay automatic nang mapupunta po ito. So, click lang po natin yung mga yan. Again, this is just for the sake of the demonstration. Okay po. Then, we have to click on results focus. Same as with the innovation. Example lang po. Okay, once na natapos na po tayo, makikita po natin sa baba, we have finalized part 2. Okay, kaso nga lang, hindi ko makita. Ang gagawin dyan is paliitin natin para makita. Drag down. And then we have to click finalize part 2. Then, uh, again, hahanapin ulit yung ating password. So, I'm just going to type it and then confirm password and then just click on go. Automatic magre-red na po yan. And ibig sabihin po nun ay na-finalize na po natin ang ating uh, part 2 ng ating uh, prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4. All you have to do is to click on OK to proceed. Okay? So, makikita natin on part 1. 
automatic na na-fill in na yan. And then part 2, na-fill in na rin po yan. Then on the part 3, makikita na rin po natin na nakalagay na rin po yung ating QET and then yung grades po natin on the different KRA. Okay? Nakalagay na rin po ang rating, rater, saka yung ating approving authority. So on the last part, which is the last or part 4 ng ating prescribed IPCRF, uh, the software or the XLSM file will allow us to encode no, yung mga teachers, we as teachers, yung mga development plans natin. Okay? So doon sa may functional competencies, ano ba yung mga development needs natin, mga learning objectives natin, intervention, timeline, resources needed. Same as with the core behavioral competencies, ilalagay po natin doon sa may. Once we encode all of those things, no, ang gagawin po natin is to click on finalize, which is the finalized part for Then, it will allow us again to input our password. Then, just click on go. Okay po? Once we click on uh, go, naka-unfinalize na po yan, we can now print uh, print parts 1 to 4 para at least meron pong hard copy na ang gagamitin. Okay? So, let us assume na na-print na po natin yung ating uh, part 1 to 4. Ang susunod po na gagawin is to save this file by clicking file and then we have save as followed by browse and then dito wag po nating tatanggalin yan lalagay lang po natin dyan we have Daniel the name of the school Daniel Maramba National High School dash say for example Senior High School and then your name say for example we have Kabatbat followed by Mark and then then all you have to do is to click on save Okay, and now you're done with the encoding of the prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4. All you have to do is to send this sa inyong uh, department at ang inyong department is send na po yung mga copy or yung soft copy sa inyong uh, ICT or sa inyong mga uploaders sa tinatawag. For bigger school, meron po tayong tatlong uploaders. Sa tatlong uploader na yon, meron pong dalawang teacher na mag upload Usually, na mga ina-assign doon are ICT coordinators. At kabilang po sa tatlo na yon ay ang ating school head. Okay? Sila lang po ang allowed na mag upload ng ating mga data doon sa URL. Okay po? Once you're done, ayun, uh, compile na po natin at isave na po natin at isesend na po natin sa ating ICT teachers or uploaders para at least may upload na rin nila doon sa website. Okay? Kasi as experience, while we are registering the name of the uploaders, uh, nagkakaroon po tayo ng traffic. Why? It's because marami po ang nag access ng website. Kaya para at least maiwasan din po natin ang traffic at maiwasan din po natin, especially sa, sa school natin ng mga malalaki, no? um, ibigay na po natin kaagad sa ating mga uploaders para at least ma-upload na nila as soon as possible. Okay? Kasi timing na naman. But I heard that our department, especially on the ICT part, is doing no, their best para at least maiwasan yung uh, traffic na tinatawag then. Okay? So I hope uh, this video helps you in encoding your uh, prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4. And if you have comments, you can just uh, comment down on this video para at least kung halimbawa makatulog tayo or masagot natin kung ano man yung katanong. Okay, we will try our best. And, ayun, if you are new to my channel, you can click on the subscribe button, then click the notification bell para at least updated po kayo sa mga videos na ilalabas natin soon. Okay? This is Sir Mark B. Kabatpat once again. I hope you are safe and stay home and God bless us all. Thank you.